Well, at last, Payday 2 Collector's Edition for Xbox 360 is finally in the United States. After the release date being confused between the retailers all over the United States and the game company itself, finally picked it up from GameStop today. Um, the box itself is cardboard, nothing too sturdy. With the back, with the sidings having the details on there, the back of the game, same thing on that side, and the bottom having a number. Mine was number six thousand five hundred and sixteen out of thirty thousand. So that's kind of cool, I guess. Um, honestly, for a sixty-dollar collector's edition, figured it'd be worth it. But let's get to the inners of the game itself. So first off, we have the game. If you pre-order the loot bag DLC, um, you should have received that on a receipt. There's no hard leaflet in the game box itself. It has the disc and a one-page manual. Nothing too special there. That there. For some of the smaller items, we have the soundtrack, which is an actual physical disc, which I think is kind of cool. Most games nowadays do digital codes. This looks pretty freaking cool. Uh, track names on the back. Next we get to the wallet. Now, a couple of unboxing videos that I've watched have basically just ripped this thing to shreds, meaning that people just hate it. They think it's made out of cheap paper, where the actual material itself is much sturdier than paper actually is. You can try and rip it, and it won't rip very easily. I'm sure if you tried hard enough, you'd be able to get it. But the inside has two slits to hold cards in. The actual pockets have two separate separators um, resembling the back of the wallet. So that's pretty freaking cool. Definitely going to use this. And next we get to the mask and gloves. Now the gloves themselves are basically just regular latex gloves. Nothing special. You can buy these in bulk at Home Depot, Lowe's, or wherever. So nothing special there. The mask itself, um, it's not made of plastic. It's made out of vinyl, which I was I was happy about at first at least. The only real issue is the lines of definition that are painted on don't exactly match. Um, if you notice here, it starts here, going along, and then it kind of dips down where the actual crease goes up here, so it looks a little silly. Um, it has a Velcro strap, so I'll put it on now to let you see what it looks like. So, I mean, not too bad. Mouth hell is right here, can breathe pretty easily. Can't expect too much quality out of these kind of things, but still pretty cool. So, that is the contents of this edition. The mask, the gloves, the wallet, the soundtrack, and of course the game. Um, thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, comment, do whatever. And um, next unboxing I'll be doing for after a while will be the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. So stay tuned for that. Later.